Hi there. Um, I just want to demonstrate quickly Windows 8 running on my five-year-old Advent laptop that I've had obviously for five years. Um, it's got an Intel Pentium dual core processor inside, which I've no idea what it is. And it was originally running Windows Vista. It's got two gigabyte of RAM in it. This is my cat. And I'll show you now. That's me switched it on. It's quite impressive the speed it boots up at, um, I think. As you'll see for yourself. I installed it last night. I've installed Microsoft Office on it. Um, installed Microsoft Office. I've installed... That's it. That's it booted up. Now, it used to take ages to boot up running Windows Vista. I stuck Windows 7 on it, even with nothing on it. Windows 7 still took longer than that to boot up. Uh, personally, I don't really like this Vista. Um, sorry, Windows 8. But it's got a... So I don't know. It's just... I'm just not a big fan of it at all. I think there's word loading up. I think once uh, you get used to it, it might be a bit better. But I think I'm going to put Windows 7 back onto it. So I just thought I'd share that video with you that even though the computer's old and all that nonsense, you can still quite happily stick. Windows 8 on it. It takes up quite a bit of space, mind you, but never mind. Okay. Um, another thing I should point out is I've got a wireless printer. And as soon as I switch the wireless printer on, it already it installed the driver automatically. It didn't even prompt me, it just installed it automatically. It just picked it up being on the same network and installed it straight away which for me that was quite good because I was just I was already on the website trying to download the driver for it but uh, for other people it might be annoying if you don't actually want to use that particular printer or whatever and it's trying to install a driver for it anyway so um, you've got pointless things on it like weather which it's really it's designed for tablets more than anything else in touch screen devices, but you can run it on your your laptop. Obviously the touch screen doesn't work. Um, but you can it's quite easy to just scroll through or whatever. It wants to activate the camera. Which doesn't work very well, but that's because it's an old laptop. videos, I don't have any videos, I don't have anything on it, but this is the, the other part that annoys me is Microsoft Store, it wants you to buy everything from Microsoft now, I haven't set it up to have a Microsoft account because I don't particularly want one um, things like cut the rope, it won't let you download it unless you've got an account you click install comes up and asks you for your Microsoft account. So that part of it I won't be using but you can still use it like a normal computer once you click desktop. The only problem is it doesn't have your restart bar down here. If you hit the start bar it takes you to that screen or if you hit the Microsoft Windows key on your keyboard. So there you go. To shut it down, click over here, settings, power, cheerio. And it shuts down quite fast as well. And so the wee lights go off, apart from the battery one. There you go. So all in all, it's not bad. It makes the old laptop run quite fast. So it's up to yourselves. Thanks for watching.